Namaste, my name is Leanne Peters and I wanted to just share with you um, about the healing energy cards and really which cards that you can pick uh, for whatever you're going through. So I've just recorded a video about the healing energy cards so check that out if you're interested, if you want to learn more about them and how to work with them. This video is mostly about the different cards, the individual cards and what you can use them for. So this is the healing energy cards, great tools to help you with your self healing on all levels. There are 55 cards in the deck and they are hand drawn. This is the second edition. Um, the first edition was released in 2008 and sold out in 2012. So this is the second edition which now has 55 cards. Also comes with this little info card as well. There's also an ebook if you're interested in an ebook that you can learn about on my website at healingenergycards.com. So let's go through each individual card here and what these can do to help you. Now we're going reverse, so we're going to actually turn them over and we'll start with card one enchantment. This is known as the sleeping pill in the healing energy cards. There have been, people have told me uh, quite a lot that children who haven't been able to sleep, even themselves, they pop this under their pillow and they seem to be able to have a really good night's sleep. So this is known as the sleeping pill. So you need help with sleeping, grab this card, card one, and see how it works for you. Now if this card comes up, if you just intuitively select it, um, or if you go straight to it, it's usually about reminding you of connecting with the fun and the sort of playtime, the lighter energies. There's a lot of fairy element um, energies within this card and it, because it's card one, it means it represents the start of the journey. So there's usually new things coming up from um, this card when you select this. Now when I say select this, I'm talking mainly about for your self-healing. You can use these cards for readings and if you do that, then there will be a slightly different sort of slant to the guidance that comes through for each card. But this is mainly for healing, which is why I'm sharing this with you, for your personal self-healing. So that's card one. Card two, Soul Chakras. This is a great card to help you feel and find your balance and to stay nice and grounded. See the balance there of the, the soles of both feet, both feet firmly planted on the ground and on the earth. And the Soul Chakras here, um, highlighted. So this would be a great card to go to if you do need some grounding, some um, balancing, some calming down. If things are a bit hectic for you, this is a great card for balance and slowing things down. Now card three, expansion. I've had some amazing healing journeys with this card, going into other dimensions for healing. Um, there seems to be a lot of time travel with this card. So if you're wanting to do that more, then this would be a great card to work with and use and, and uh, explore. Now card four, Ancestral Inspiration. This card's about looking at the bloodline and the ancestors and the family unit and working with that energy for healing. So if this card comes up for you often, then it probably means there's some some issue that you're going through that's really strongly collect, connected with the bloodline. So it's up to you to shift and take responsibility for that so you can move that out of the bloodline, out of the DNA. This is card five, self-acceptance. This card was actually drawn specifically to help with weight loss. So there's great energy with this to help you with weight loss, especially if it's emotional weight that you're putting on. There's also a great element of self-acceptance, um, self-love within this card and it works really well on the solar plexus chakra and the sacral chakra. So those uh, second and third chakras. This is card six, self-searching. This is a great one to come to if you find that you're giving your power away and you're looking too far outside of yourself for answers or help. This is about looking within. So looking within yourself for the answers. And card seven, self-love. This card's about finding that space of solitude within to help you find and connect more with yourself and experience more self-love. And self-love will reflect out into relationships. So if you're having relationship issues, 
then it might be good to get this card out because it probably means that relationship is reflecting something back to you that's probably a bit unstable or blocked up. Card 8, Emotional Healing. This is a great one to help with the emotions, especially if you've been feeling a bit scattered or uh, chaotic, caught in dramas lately, emotionally. This will help you find the centre, the centre of the emotional storm that you may be experiencing. Card 9, Accomplishment. This is a great card to help you feel proud about what you've achieved. So, you know, sometimes we wait for others to say thank you or to acknowledge what we've done but this is about us noticing it for ourselves and when we're proud of what we've achieved then we can continue on so it's like climbing a mountain and getting there to the top and recognizing how far you've come it's that type of energy in this card now this is one of the cards that helps with your mind energy so card 10 mind thoughts I would be working with this card if you've been feeling a bit depressed or a bit active in the thinking with the negative thoughts, the judgments, the fears and those types of things in your mind. This will help clear your mind and ease any stress that you may be going through. Card 11, Goddess Awakening, is one of the favourites in the deck and she's really about stepping into the new and preparing to step into the unknown. There's definitely an unknown element here. There's a birthing of the new with this card and a doorway, like you're about to go through a doorway or a gateway into the new. And card 12, Spirit Message. This is great to help you really increase your connections to spirit, especially your spirit guides, your spiritual teachers, your loved ones in spirit. You'll probably find this card comes up a lot for you if they're trying to get a message to you. Card 13, Meditation. This is a really beautiful, gentle card. It really helps you stay focused, not only for meditation, but to focus on the positive, focus on um, what you want rather than what you don't want. So if you find your focus is a bit too much on the negative or the what-ifs or what might be pending, the unknown, then this is a great card to work with just to help you gently find your focus and um, also work with your meditation if that's something you're working on. Now this is the only card in the deck I didn't illustrate. This is illustrated by my son and I really love the masculine, innocent energy of this card. So it's about support. It's about the energy of the father-son, the father-son energy. So the protector and the supporter. So there's a lot of that energy within this card and um, family connections as well card 15 cycles of change this card brings with it wind so usually when it comes up it brings a lot of the wind element so usually it's quite windy outside when this card comes up but it's about the mind and clearing the mind but also um, bringing about change and you know change that kind of sweeps in really quickly and then stirs things up and then moves out just as fast and leaves us to clear up the mess there's that type of energy in this. There's also an element of throat energy, communication, truth, that type of thing. Card 16, Recenter. This card's likely to come up or would be great to work with if you're really needing to stay aligned and centred. If you've been getting a bit off-centre, out of the flow lately, this is a great card to work with. It's very soft and gentle and flowing. There's a lot of flow in that card. Now if you're having trouble letting go of the past or if you're worrying about your future, this is a great card to work with. It can be really confronting and in fact this is one of the cards that's probably, I find people tell me, is one they really don't like. And if you watch my previous video, I mentioned that the ones you don't like are usually ones that have some type of important energy that we can work with or learn from. So this is about karmic healing, it's about letting go, it's about learning from the past and freeing ourselves. That's 17 time tunnel. And in the same kind of theme is card 18, rebirth. This is really about stripping away the old, stripping away the new, really letting go and allowing the, the new to burn away the old. And there's a lot of truth element in this card as well. So just like the, the tree uh, sheds its bark, and the snake sheds its skin and the fire rejuvenates the land there is that happening within us when we get this card so go straight to this if you need help letting go
Now here's another mind card. This is mental healing. And this is about exploring the mind and healing the mind of those lower thoughts and any mental chaos you may be getting into. There's also a lot of element of grounding in this. So if you feel a bit sort of away with the fairies, this would be a great card to come to, the mental healing. 20, reconnection. This is Venus, and uh, she is about reconnecting. We're not only reconnecting with spirit, but reconnecting with yourself. There's a lot of uh, disconnection she brings up. So when she comes up a lot, she's probably showing that your energy is a bit separate, disconnected or split. So a great card to work with to help re-establish and reconnect you and help you feel that sense of wholeness again. And card 21 third eye opening. This is great to help you open your intuition, open your psychic senses and also to help you with any trust issues you may be working on. This is a great card to place face down on your third eye chakra and see what happens. Now this is one of the best of the, the physical healing cards. So if you're going through something physical, a physical issue, pain, ache, a physical thing that's going on in your body, this would be the card you'd go to. Uh, this and one of the other ones I'll get to in a minute. 22 healing hands. So you can place this card on that area of your body and ask it to help take that pain away or help take that issue away and see what happens. It will also, that card, sorry, that will also help you awaken your healing hands. So if you've got a calling to be a healer and to work with people in that way, great for nurses or counsellors as well, then um, you might want to work with that card. Card 23, bridge between throat, sorry, heart and throat. This helps clear the communication. It helps bring your communication up straight from your heart and how you feel rather than what you think and bringing the energy down from the mind. So this will help clear the communication so that you can be that clear channel. And it, this is a great card to work with if you've got something you need to say to someone but you're not really sure how to or you're not really feeling safe to do that. Card 24, Spiral of Grace. This is about moving out of karma and lifting free. So there's a great energy in here of, about letting go and also a great element of freedom, lightening your energy and, and expanding. There's a great expansion in that. Card 25, Stability. This is about grounding and staying grounded to help you connect further with spirit and further with yourself. Now, there's an, a big element of stability in this card, so if you're feeling a bit unstable or insecure, this would be a great card to work with. It's great for meditation as well. Now, card 26, Stillness. This is uh, Pende, and uh, this is a Buddhist monk who I had the honour of connecting with, and I actually sketched a picture of him. And this card's really inspiring us to slip within, into that space of silence and peace and to find that inner peace within, but especially connecting here with the, the throat chakra. Card 27, Freedom. This is another great one for the mind. It will help free your mind, free your mind of worries, negative thoughts. This is a great one to work with if you're really kind of struggling in the moment. If it's not a long-term worry, that, but just something random, then this is a great card to work with. It clears things up pretty quickly. Card 28, White Light. There's a couple of elements to this card. The white light here can help uh, purify and clear out the spinal energy or the kundalini. This card also brings with it a message from your loved one saying they are happy at peace and they love you and they are around you. So that's 28, White Light. 29, Lotus Heart Opening. This is a great card to help you with healing the heart. Healing the heart of any wounds or any um, doubts or, or barriers or blocks that you've been holding in your heart. So it's great for healing the heart. Card 30, Creation. This one's all about connecting in with the creative, raw creative energy. There is little form in this card, little grounding. It's really about fluid energy, inspiration, creativity, and not a lot of grounding. It's really raw, raw energy before it takes form. Card 31, Reunion. This is about the bringing forward of the 
divine masculine energy. So we talk a lot about the goddess energy and this is about igniting that god or warrior energy within you for a further deeper kind of inner reunion. Now this is the card for protection, card 32, illusion. If you're feeling unsafe or uh, being attacked or anything like that, uh, psychically, mentally, physically, then um, this is a great card to work with to help boost and amplify your protection energy. Now, this is card 33, Rise of the Phoenix. Take everything to the next level. Rebirth, new life, let go of the expired energy as you as your authentic you so allow the authentic you to really shine and expand and grow now this is about imploding not exploding but imploding so you're expanding further and further and you're actually working with that energy to propel you to new heights so take everything further with card 33 rise of the phoenix card 34 blossoming this card brings with it often some physical discomfort it's a bit like the caterpillar who gets ripped apart and put together again as the butterfly this can have a little bit of a toll on the physical body so when this card comes up there's usually some physical discomfort but it's all part of the blossoming and the growing that you're going through work with colors too to help you remain balanced Card 35, Healing Guide. This is about really trusting the flow and flowing with that beautiful space of love. Love, flow, support. Feel that there. That's beautiful, beautiful card. Card 36, New Life. This can be a bit confronting for some as well, like someone's watching them. But it's really about nourishing the new, nourishing the new as it grows. So great for manifesting your ideas manifesting your dreams or your goals. Cellular Change card 37 is about duality and bringing those dual parts of you deeper into union. So it's about deep, deep healing on those cellular DNA levels and bringing those energies together. This is a great card to work with for twin flame connections as well. And card 38, New Vibration. This card usually comes up when there's some new energy coming in for collective energy or new energy into your life. And it's really encouraging you to nourish the new as it grows and as it prepares for manifestation. Card 39, Abundance. This is great for abundance, clearing issues connecting with abundance or issues connecting with prospering or succeeding and really welcoming and overflowing abundance into our lives. Card 40, Sacred Love. This is about bringing our hearts united as one. So this could be twin flame energy too, or it, could, it can mean that energy within yourself. So bringing those two hearts as one, merging that masculine and feminine energy and really feeling that sacred love. Card 41 is about, or observation, it's about growth. It's about stretching beyond limitations and keep stretching further. With this card, I often get the visual of a box and putting a tree in a box to try and get it to grow. And it, let's say the box is wooden and it kind of reaches that, that limit within the box. So this is about stretching further, stretch beyond your limitations and use your observing quality to help you with that as well. Okay, card 42, self-confrontation. This is a self-confronting card. And it asks you to look in the mirror and to feel, um, to explore who you are and really be honest about it and then move forward from anything that may be confronting or difficult for you to recognize about you. That's how you'll heal and accept who you are at those deeper levels. Card 43, I am expanding. This is about expanding beyond your ego, beyond any dramas, limitations and really allowing yourself to expand further. 44, Heaven on Earth. This is another twin flamey type card and it's really about bringing the energy of heaven to earth. So it's about reunion, it's about grounding, it's about being a spiritual being in your physical body. Card 45, The Journey. So the journey is about moving forward into the unknown and just take one step at a time on your journey. 
Now this is the other physical healing card, card 46, spiritual surgery. So along with card 22, healing hands, both of these together work brilliantly to help you on a physical level, to help you with physical things you're going through. Card 47, reflections, talks about things coming together. So they may have been feeling a bit scattered, but they are coming together as this mandala represents. 48, playfulness. When this card comes up, it's reminding you to use playtime to help you lift your spirit and to open up your chakras and probably distracting yourself from worries or things that are going on in your life. So playfulness. Now these are the new cards in the, this second edition, these uh, next few. This is card 49, Archangel Michael, and it's Truth. And he comes forward to help you cut through illusion and to free yourself and protect you as well. Card 50, support. This is a great card for support, saying that you are protected and supported at this time. Charging, 51. This is great to help boost your energy. So if you're about to go for a job interview or anything like that, you need an energy boost, then grab this card. This card also has an element of kind of um, sacred haven, um, stepping into yourself type energy and there's not a lot of other people around. It's about you building on that energy for yourself. Card 52, Soothing. This is a heart connected card and an emotional connected card. So if you're feeling a bit unstable or chaotic or imbalanced emotionally or in your heart energy, this is a great one to help calm and soothe your energy. If you're feeling a bit uptight, anxious, irritated, grab this card, Soothing. Card 52, Card 53, Inner Child. This is about coming out of hygiene. This is about allowing your true self to come out and to be revealed to others, the world, even just to you. You don't have to be out in the spotlight, but just allow yourself to come out of hiding. There's a lot of healing, a lot of truth, a lot of exploration within this card. Card 54, Manifest. This card goes wonderfully with um, the Abundance card. This is about the energy coming down in layers and, abun and abundance manifesting in your life. So if you want to manifest any dream, any desire, prayer, wish, anything at all, then work with this card. And the last card, card 55, Tree of Life, this is about feeling proud of what you've accomplished. This is about balance, wisdom that you've gained and the fruits that you're enjoying from your hard work. So there's a lot of support, just trust everything's coming together and everything's working out for you. And there's a lot of growth within this as well. So that's all of the healing energy cards, which are great tools to help you with your self-healing. You can place them on your body, you can put them under your pillow as you sleep. You can, what else can you do with them? You can meditate with them, you can put them in different areas, um, chakras, different areas of your body that may need assistance physical or otherwise um, and these cards are available now and you can check them out if you want to you can pick a card online or you can order your own deck they're only $19.95 at the moment um, and you can check them out at healingenergycards.com and trust your intuition you can go straight to cards that you need you can uh, fan the cards out or shuffle them pick cards that your intuition guides you to um, just go with the flow there are no rules allow these cards to expand with you. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Leanne Peters and thank you so much for supporting my healing energy cards.